With the holidays rapidly approaching and travel getting back to kind of normal pre-COVID levels, travel is back, baby, and I am excited. You, on the other hand, may feel less excited or less confident if you are not an experienced traveler traveling with small kids. And so my hope is that by the end of this video, you feel ready to take the next step to jump onto kayak or hotel.com, not sponsored, but wouldn't that be cool? To call up grandma, tell her that you've just booked your ticket and you're gonna be on your way. But first, Hello and welcome. My name is Julie. I hold a doctorate in occupational therapy. I am also a coach for moms, helping them go from feeling overwhelmed and frazzled and chaotic and like they could never jump on a plane and travel with their kids in their current state to feeling calm, parenting with ease, and most of all, feeling confident in daily life. So that if that vacation opportunity comes around and the only way that you can go is if your kids come with you, you're willing to take the leap. I have three kids of my own, including a baby slash toddler. And you know, I'm excited to share all of my travel tips with you because I take these kids everywhere, let me tell you. I also have a weekly podcast where I document some of my travels and mom trips and tricks and a newsletter that goes out. So make sure that you check out those links below. I'm very active on Instagram, so go and follow me there and send me a DM, we can hang out. And with all that said, let's jump into the video. Interestingly, as I film this, we are getting ready to go on a pretty big trip. As you can tell, I am not from the United States, although I do live in Austin, Texas currently, but I'm originally from South Africa and all of my family is there. We have not been back since 2019, right before the world changed, kind of forever. And so I am excited slash nervous to now fly with, that's four, with three children, three children across the world. We're going to be doing 20, 25 hours of flying. We are going to be crossing eight time zones, I believe. So I am really in the thick of things as we're about a month out from our trip. I need to be planning. So it's top of mind to be talking to you about travel. But today we're really going to be talking about the confidence that travel gives you as a parent and it may not be what you before I jump into today's topic I wanted to let you know that I've actually gone into really detailed minutia when it comes to traveling what to pack like what kind of gear do you really need I don't want you to waste your hard-earned money I have tested and tried a lot of different travel techniques and approaches over the years as I've flown with one baby a baby and a toddler now two little kids and a baby all this kind of combination and I've flown short distances uh, international the whole thing so I have created a little travel series, although it's not that little, it's very detailed. And I think it will really help you if you're just starting out, you're not sure what gear you need, what's worth the money, what's not. Also kind of why I think traveling with a little baby is actually the easiest if you're gonna do it and why I think people wait too long. And then the last thing that I talk about is what you actually do on a plane with a toddler or a young baby. Like how do you entertain them for a certain amount of hours? What does that really look like if you've never done it before? So if you're interested in that, make sure you check out the link below. I have a free series that you can download and that might be really helpful in actually the logistics of preparing for for travel because if I had to go through that in a video now we would be here until my trip in a month's time you know what I mean okay so in my mind unless it's kind of absolutely necessary to travel with your baby like there's a medical reason you need to go somewhere with them or uh, for some reason it, your your home is in danger there's a natural disaster there's you know, all these kinds of things, uh, or you have to travel for like a family emergency. For the most part, people might not want to travel with kids. Like you do need an element of bravery, courageousness. Maybe it's better you don't know what to expect because it can be a lot, right? You're taking your child out of their routine. You're taking yourself out of your routine. You're leaving the comforts of home behind. Like, why would you do this? Because ultimately traveling is really just parenting in a different location. Now, as I said, I have traveled fairly extensively with my kids over their little young lives. Uh, my oldest one is seven and he's been to a number of places because 
For me, it is worth it to travel with my children than not to travel at all. That might not be the case for everybody else, but I do hope that I can shift your perspective on why it is not that bad to travel with kids and with a little bit of preparation and planning, you can 100% do it. Traveling really has boosted my confidence as a mom because if I can do it somewhere else, I can travel, I can parent anywhere, right? It strips away all of my creature comforts that I spoke about and helps me be resourceful and that really reinforces my self-esteem as a parent like it makes everything more relative like if I can parent in this foreign country where I don't speak the language and I don't know what different things are where different things are then obviously I can do it at home I also really like that I can share the world and share these experiences with my now people will argue that it's not necessary to travel with children they're not going to remember anyway and my argument for that would be is that they're continuously recording their experiences there's that but also they actually become better travelers as they grow up and they become a lot more adaptable because they're used to sleeping in different beds in different homes uh, maybe being surrounded by a different language and I feel like on their level it gives them an element of confidence where they can separate from their home and still thrive and have fun and meet new people and be okay and overall my kids are great travelers now now I can't go back and decide whether that is because they traveled from young or not but I can see that giving them a lot of practice having them feel confident in our process when it comes to travel really makes them feel secure and helps them to enjoy their self in themselves and be well behaved I get to test everything that I have taught them right because now we're in a new location and it's really interesting to see how we can mim mimic and mirror bedtime in Spain or in Hawaii or in Colorado or in South Africa and what's really interesting is when we get our little toddler who's at this moment 17 months old and she's able to sleep in another crib in another room in another state and still able to kind of follow her bedtime routine it shows that we have like solidified what we have going on at home and it gives them real life experience to have manners to behave well to adapt to foreign situations i also think that travel gives us appreciation for home now don't get me wrong there's something inside of me that wants to travel all the time and people that i work with and my friends are like you're traveling again like what is going on I clearly have this bug a lot worse than other people, but I just can't, I can't stay in one place for too long. I really want to see the world. And you know what? It gives me and my kids an appreciation for home. It gives them an appreciation for their things, their toys, their books, their bed. I also love coming home, even though I do like to travel. You know, distance does make the heart grow fonder, and I think it gives us a new perspective on what we have. I am also continuously reminded that I can do this as a mom. Like one of my missions in life, two of them really, but is to help you enjoy your kids because childhood has a time limit. It goes by so fast. Take it from someone who has a seven and a half year old, right? It's like crazy how fast they grow and how much they change. And the next thing that I want to impart from you for you is confidence, right? And I think travel gives you confidence. As I alluded to, if you can parent somewhere else, you can parent kind of anywhere. But it really builds my self-esteem as a person to see all the hard work and effort that we have put into raising our children. When they're in a different situation and they're meeting new people, are they remembering their manners? How do they behave? Can they adapt when they're feeling a little hungry or a little tired or they're jet lagged? How are they in real world situations? Because I don't believe that kind of coddling up kids, keeping them small, never allowing them to face challenge or conflict. And let's be real, travel can be super unexpected. There can be a lot of bumps along the way to get into your destination, even if you're going on a vacation. And children need to adapt and kind of roll with the punches too. It also teaches them to kind of live with less, which is something that I want them to understand and to kind of 
impact impart into their life. I want them to have principles of intention, kind of minimalism when it comes to life and travel helps you kind of live with just a little suitcase. And I think that's an important lesson to learn. When we travel with them and meet new people or meet friends we haven't seen in a long time or who have never met our children, it really makes me reflect on how far we've, you know, like as a first time mom, although I did want to travel with my baby, sure, I was like on a plane when he was six weeks old. I had a very low self-esteem of myself as a mom. I found it really hard with the sleeping thing. I kind of just felt like I sucked a lot of the time, to be honest. And now to see how far we've come when we're able to take them all over the world and they kind of roll with us, it gives me that confidence. And I want that for you too. So I want you to consider travel as a way for you to strengthen your confidence as a parent, to show your subconscious that, that you too can do hard things and that everything that you've poured into your children is now paying off. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I have so much to learn and my children are still young and I recognize that. Small children, small problems, right? Little people, little problems. But I know that we have made progress and that is really heartwarming to help me keep going and help me to share this love of travel and exploration that I have with my kids because I think so many of us live in fear. Like we live in fear that something bad's gonna happen, we worry about things and I worry about things too but I'm also really trying to use my actions to override any kind of negative thoughts of things that I literally cannot control. So why live like that? And I don't want my children to live like that. I want them to feel free and enjoy their lives and travel helps us do that. So I wanna know from you, are you team travel all the way or are you someone that would rather stay at home and have your baby and kids there? Because I totally get that as well. Something I will acknowledge is that because I live so far from my family, I didn't really have a choice. If I wanted my children to see what South Africa was like and experience that culture and see my family in their home, we would have to get on a plane and do the hard work to get there. And it's not easy, but it becomes easier the more processes you have in place, the more uh, you lo lock into your mental attitude towards it and just kind of realize that this plane ride will eventually end and the destination is worth it. I talk a lot about this in my series, so make sure you go ahead and download it. And if you haven't already, I would so appreciate you subscribing to this channel, liking the video and sharing this with anyone who may benefit from it. With the holidays coming up, a lot of people are gonna be traveling and they need support because sometimes you're traveling kind of without you know, your own. Sometimes it feels like you have to travel without a choice, right? You just have to do it. So I want you to go in there with the best possible attitude you can so you can enjoy it. Traveling and holidays and being with family can be stressful. So remember, you have this one life and it is up to you how it all kind of pans out to a degree. It's your perspective and thoughts on it that is gonna dictate how you experience the situation. So make sure you choose wise. And remember, mama, you've got this.